Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, becoming a star nowadays is as easy as getting one moderately successful appearance on the internet. Now, not all internet appearances are created equal. You don't want to be the person who gets famous for angrily ranting at someone at a grocery store or who calls the cops on children for selling lemonade. Sometimes after your short-lived fame, people become curious about you and even after you step away from the limelight, they want to know how your life went. Sometimes these viral stars set themselves up for life with those 15 minutes of fame. Other times they end up the same or worse than before. Want to see where some of your favorite viral have-beens ended up? Then join us as we cover the top 10 viral stars and where they are now. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And in the comments section, tell us what star you've always wondered what happened to. Number 10, Judson Lipley. A great start to our list, Judson Lipley from Lakewood, Ohio, became big by creating a six-minute routine about the evolution of dance. He originally created it in 2001, but he posted it to YouTube in 2006 and has been viewed over 300 million times since. In fact, it was the first YouTube video to reach 100 million views, breaking world records. It's since become part of everyday references, making appearances and parodies on The Office and late night television. Lightly has also spoken on popular talk shows back in the day, becoming a recognized personality in the process. Since then, Lightly has moved on to motivational speaking, not far from the inspirational comedy he enjoyed doing before. Number 9. Charlie No Longer Bites The Charlie Bit Me video was one of the first things that made it really big. Everyone knew it. Catching the early wave of viral videos was well worth it for the family of these two boys. They made over $2 million in revenue, and they're all grown up now, which is about all that is different with the family. They still live in the same house, working the same jobs, and even have the same couch that was in the original clip over 10 years ago. When confronted about the cash, the father simply stated, we aren't going to shy away from buying new bikes for the kids, but most of the money is set aside for private education for the boys. Number 8. Psy Oh, Gangnam Style, a trend that swept everyone off their feet and got everyone dancing in Korean. Despite nobody knowing that this song was actually referencing an area of Seoul, South Korea, it didn't matter much when it came down to how catchy it really was. However, it's all fast fashion, and soon after Psy was big with children, it was lame again. After Gangnam Style, Psy tried to pick it back up by making more music, collaborating with Snoop Dogg, but nothing did quite as well. Don't feel bad for him, though, because his one song alone has earned him over $50 million. Number 7. Rebecca Black The Maker of Friday, the song we all love to hate. She was also 13 years old at the time, so we're even more bitter. She's a constant reminder that we should have uploaded our original songs to YouTube and tried to make a run for it. The nasty comments didn't deter her from uploading more videos and even doing some shows before moving back to her normal high school life. Now she's back and better than… well, she's back. She's 21, she moved to LA to try singing again, and has a team of producers, writers, and musicians by her side. She released a few singles, and she'll probably release an album that may or may not be relevant. Number 6. Alex from Target Let's face it, Alex from Target made it viral, but he wasn't quite as big until Ellen was like, you must come on my show. If you don't know, Alex was a cute cashier at Target whose photo was posted online for just being cute. Then everyone needed to know who he was. His Twitter handle was leaked, he gained hundreds of thousands of followers overnight, and he rode the wave all the way to LA where he became a YouTuber and met a girlfriend. Today, he hopes to continue training to become an EMT as he doesn't wish to pursue being a viral star long term. Number 5. Miss South Carolina Poor Miss South Carolina got thrown a difficult pageant question and when that footage became public, it went like such as all downhill from there and stuff. Hmm. 
When it went viral, she felt like one of the dumbest people alive. That can't be a good place to be. She was even said to have contemplated suicide. However, after some time, she reinvented herself, dyed her hair dark, moved to LA to become an actress, and, well, as far as we know, ended up as a real estate agent and just recently gotten divorced. Not a horrible story, but like, such, such as, not, not the best outcome and stuff. Number four, Chris Crocker. Chris Crocker might have been a regular guy who barely got that much attention if he had not made one YouTube video. After Britney Spears had a mental breakdown, performed badly at the MTV Music Awards, and shaved her head, Crocker took to YouTube to complain that people were being too hard on poor Britney and they should just leave Britney alone. He said it in tears, which smeared his makeup and People just felt bad that this guy was standing up for a star who would probably never know his name. Then he became famous and took his voice to issues on LGBTQ rights, appeared in documentaries, adult films, and is still out and about today. Number 3. Jeremy Meeks Jeremy Meeks was one of the craziest cases of viral stars making it big for strange reasons. All he did was become a crip, got arrested, served time, and took a really good mugshot. Once that photo hit the public, thanks to the police department posting it on Facebook, people were drooling all over it, saying he was just too good looking for prison. Which may be true, since after being released, he was signed as a professional model and still works in the industry today. In 2018, he appeared in the music video Wi-Fi by Russian pop singer Olga Buzova, and that's the last we've heard from him. Number 2. Antoine Dodson Antoine Dodson's local TV interview was good enough on its own. It was about a man who had come into his sister's bed in the middle of the night. Dodson pleads viewers to, well, watch this. He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up. That turned into a remix which was such a hit that it made it to viral stardom. He played small roles on TV, appeared in the Tyler Perry movie Amadea Christmas, and sold lots and lots of merc. Number 1. Ted Williams Ted was a homeless man who found himself on the streets of Columbus, Ohio, addicted to drugs after a career in radio. When a man approached him with a camera and some money asking him to show off that radio voice, the two of them made viral history. He became a star immediately after, got himself a shave, a shower, some clothes, and a job with Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. He even booked a deal and a Pepsi commercial. Since then, he's bought a house in Columbus, went back to church, and sometimes does public speeches. In December of 2015, Ted announced on a Facebook video that he planned to return to WVKO as the morning show host beginning on Monday, January 4, 2016. Just three months later, in April of that year, it was announced that he was no longer a part of WVKO programming, and that's where his story ends up dry. Hey, thanks for watching. You know, my doctor told me I had gone viral. Uh, Jim, he said you have a virus. Oh, that's different. Never mind. But you can help this video go viral by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it on all your social media sites. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll know right away whenever we upload a new video. And look, here are two more videos you can watch right now.